you have your iPhone and you have an external hard drive and you would like to film so the video is stored directly onto this external hard drive. In this video I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Here I have this iPhone 17 Pro Max and here we have a one terabyte hard drive. This is an SSD from Fan Xiang. They actually sent me this one and asked me to make a review if I liked it or not. And I did like it a lot, so that's why I would like to include that in this video. This is the model PS2005. And as I said, this is a one terabyte hard drive and it's actually compatible with MagSafe. So you can just attach it here at the back and then you just plug in the cord at the bottom here and then you're ready to shoot. But it's actually not as easy as just plug in this external hard drive into the iPhone to get the iPhone to store that video onto that hard drive. First, we have to get some settings right. So the first thing we need to do, that is to open up the phone. Let's go into settings. And then in the settings, let's go to camera. And in camera, let's go to formats. And in formats, we need to scroll down and make sure that Apple ProRes is enabled because it's only the Apple ProRes files. Those are those huge 10 bit files that you can color grade really well on a computer. It's only those files that can be stored on an external hard drive like this. So first we enable this ProRes. After that, we go back and we go into the camera app. And when we are in the camera app, we need to enable Apple ProRes to be able to store the video onto that hard drive. So at the very top left, where we can have the resolution, frame rate, etc., we now have the ProRes option at the very top. So we can select to film in log or HDR. Let's select HDR. And now we can see that currently it says that we have 0.35 minutes of storage on this iPhone. And that is just because I have as little as 250 or 300 gigabytes of storage left. So these ProRes files, those are enormous. What we can do now is to plug in this phone, let's attach it out the back, and then we're gonna plug in the cord. And now we can see that here at the very top is gonna to change to 2.52 hours. So two hours and 52 minutes, that is the available storage we now have in this external hard drive. However, we can run into some issues when we're gonna film in Apple ProRes, and that is just because you need to have a very specific file system on this external hard drive. And when you go to Apple's website, it says that you can use, for example, APFS, and you can use HFS plus and also XFAT. But those are only compatible file formats when you have this external storage connected. That doesn't mean that it's compatible with the camera app. When you're gonna record a video directly to this external hard drive, you need to have the hard drive formatted to XFAT. If you don't have that, as I have right now, now I have this external hard drive formatted to APFS. And if I go to HDR, it says unsupported file system. External storage device must be formatted to XFAT to support external recording. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna have a link to another video where I'm gonna show you how to format this external hard drive to XFAT in your iPhone because you can actually perform that via your iPhone. Now I have changed the file system of this external hard drive to XFAT instead. And now if I try to record, it works just perfectly fine. And another thing that can be a little bit confusing is that when I stop this recording and then I would like to view that recording and I go into the Photos app, it's not here. It doesn't show up in the Photos app. If I go to Import instead, then I can see all those files that are recorded onto this external hard drive. So I can, so I can import that file from here, but I cannot access it from library. Another way to do this, this is to go into the Files app instead. And here we can see that we have the PS2005, which is the name of this external hard drive. And if I tap that one, here we can see that we have the DCIM folder, tap it again. And here we have the video that we just recorded. If we tap it, we can just preview it. Sometimes there can be an issue to preview the video right here. And that is just because you need to leave it for a little while. Sometimes it needs a little bit more time to be able to fix the file so you can actually play it. The next thing we can do that is to see each other in that video over here, because that is the video that YouTube recommend you to watch. And the video down here, that is that video where I show you how to change the file format of the external hard drive that is connected to the iPhone. And it's gonna be performed inside the iPhone.